Hi, my name is Ryan Boyack. I'm the development director here at the College of Pharmacy. I've been here the last 10 years and welcome to the College of Pharmacy. What we have, we're in between two buildings. Uh, one is a research building, which is named the Ellis Skaggs Junior Pharmacy Research Building. And this was built in 2013. And then over here to the north, we have the Ellis Skaggs Hall which has been the home of the College of Pharmacy since 1965. Uh, Mr. Skaggs, as a philanthropist, pharmacy education was very important to him. And with his drug stores, he wanted the best pharmacists working for him. And so he invested in College of Pharmacies throughout the West. And his gifts to the college really has made what the College of Pharmacy is today. And we wouldn't be a leader without his help. Where we're standing in here is the atrium of the L.S. Skaggs Pharmacy Institute. What's unique about this is it doesn't look like a research building. It, it really is warm and inviting. It is kind of a central meeting place of the College of Pharmacy. What's neat about this building is the colors in it, the floor, is different than your all cement lab space research building. Now the design of it is there's three bays on each of the floors. The real innovation of the building where all the connections are up in the ceiling. They can change the configuration around. They're not necessarily tied to the ground. And it really is best in the nation really state-of-the-art for pharmacy research. This is the sterile compounding area. In this area, they try to mimic exactly a clean room of what you would find in a hospital. And then over here, we have the compounding lab. This is where students learn the art of compounding. Here's the Poison Control Center. Our students have the opportunity during their fourth year to do a rotation through here and you know right now it's also where the COVID-19 hotline for the state they're answering all those calls right now. The poison control center can always be accessed. But someone is here 24 hours a day. The Department of Pharmacotherapy is up on this fourth floor and this is where a lot of our clinical faculty have their offices. The clinical faculty really are experts in their field. Each of them do have a specialty or a community pharmacy that they are helping to run where they're working as a clinical pharmacist in that clinic. But then the knowledge that they have in treating patients, they're also spreading that knowledge to our students as well. The strength of the College of Pharmacy lies in our alumni. Uh, we've had about 3,500 alumni that have gone through our program here and each of them are very competitive in the pharmacy field just because of the education that they received here at the University of Utah.